So this presentation is called Similarities and Differences, The Music and Dance of Two Cultures, presented by Jana, Ruba, Evelyn, Khalid, and JD. For this assignment, the group selected two songs that have dancing slash foot movements associated with the song. Uh, for your mock section, uh, is Dabka. The Jordanian Dabka is a Jordanian folk dance and the national dance of the Hashmiyat Kingdom of Jordan. The dancers li line up either in a row or in a circle. And for the dance of Dabka, it focuses more on of uh, on the movement of the legs, and uh, it is char characterized by beating the ground with a loud sound, sound accompanied by singing and playing folk music. And it's an important part of Jordanian heritage and folklore, and it is practiced at weddings and national events. And for me, living in the north of Jordan, in Erbil, we have the most common famous Jordanian dabka, uh, and its uh, movement begins with the left leg and ends with the left one. Uh, it is distinguished by its fast rhythm and its beat, in, and it beats to the melodies of Al Midwas. So for the U.S. selection, we decided to go with line dancing. Modern line dancing is based on Southern folk dance from the state of Texas with roots to other parts of the United States and possibly European countries. The dance has international recognition as a synchronized group dance with individual participants. The dance uh, was popularized in the 80s, and uh, like the dubka, it focuses a lot on leg movement, more so than the upper body. Uh, and while it has no religious context, it is what people tend to think of when they see a stereotypical American dance with a cowboy hat and the cowboy boots, so... For the similarities dub, uh, for Dabka and line dancing, one similarity between both both videos is that the music uses rhythm in which the dancers are able to stomp or take specific steps to stay in the unison with the beat of the music. The second similarity is that it work for the music. The dance steps are unique to the specific genre of music, and while the music may shape the movements of the dance, they re relatively the same. Differences between dubka and line dancing. The musical instruments used to create the rhythm and pace of the dance are different between dubka and the and the U.S. line dancing. While both share uh, drum and string instruments, the sound provided by these instruments are uniquely attributed to the culture itself. Uh, one difference is the physical proxim. Another difference is the physical proximity of line dancers to one another. Line dancing does not use the holding of hands or touching of neighboring dancers, um, where 
Dubka is seen as, as you know, holding hands or having the arm of the shoulders. Uh, examples of songs in the Western or U.S. that have that would be like two-stepping. It's almost like a salsa. For the conclusion of media and culture, one difference between the two dances is the physical contact between dancers. Dabka dances usually are hand in hand or have an arm over another, another's shoulder throughout the dance, whereas country line dancing is in, individual, but synchronized group moments. And while there are differences between the two uh, dance uh, of the two music and dance styles of Dabka and country line dancing, the similarities seem to be more prevalent. Both styles use a drum-like instrument and the use of stomping to keep rhythm and pace of the dance. Another similarity is the pace of the dance. So the faster the music plays, the faster the dance uh, is performed. And finally, the musical instruments used during the two dances are similar. Uh, among the musical instruments accompanying the dubkas are the shababa, the majuz, yargul, the bagpipes, which are all wind instruments, uh, the tabla, which is a percussion instrument or drum, and the oud, which is a string instrument. Similarly, country line dancing uses uh, usually consists of a harmonica, which is a wind instrument, a drum percussion uh, percussion instrument, and then a banjo, bass, acoustic guitar, and fiddle, which are all string instruments. Uh, so final thoughts by the group. Uh, we'll start with Jenna. Jenna first. I, I think the purpose uh, of songs and dance is to have fun whatever it is nice ruba yes i agree with that no matter the difference of dances between and other cultures you have to enjoy it and have fun at the end evelyn um i find it interesting that dance seems to be a universal universal constant with all human societies so it's very interesting to see how you know, different societies have taken that form of expression, so. The difference between the Jordanian DBK and the American line dance the DBK depends on important part of the Jordanian ergit and is in uh, bear front on every national action, our uh, wedding. As for the line dance, it is decided uh, to significant uh, action and uh, any other difference. Any like uh, critical uh, dancing like DBK line dancing are uh, not in which and connect with each other. The stimulation between the two the dance is that each one of them have a question many popular in music Styles. Yeah, and to sum it all up, uh, you know, the uh, as Ruben Jana suggested that you know, the, the the dance is there, and it, while culturally different, you know, there are some similarities. And then uh, one thing I noticed was even the instruments, although they make different sounds, they're still the same thing. So you have your wind instruments, your percussion instruments, and your string instruments that all kind of uh, create the music for the the step or the dance moves for the, for each individual uh, for each culture respectively. So uh, another great presentation with you guys. Um, Hope to see you guys work with you guys in the future and have a good one.